Hey YouTube, it's Justin aka Demonic Sweaters. Today I'm going to be talking about this cool little thing, which is the Amun Pock Rock Guitar Cabinet and multi effects Unit Simulator. And this thing is actually a really inexpensive device you can get on Amazon. They're about $30. I'll post a link down below if you're interested. And it could be compared to something like a pod, something like that. Basically what you would use this for is if you don't have a guitar amp, or even if you do have a guitar amp, but you don't want to play loud, and you just want to record you know, directly into your computer and make it sound like you're using an amp, you can use this. And this thing works really, really well for only being $30. Now, what I'm gonna show you is the way I think that it sounds good. Now, of course, sound is subjective, and you may have a different opinion as to what sounds good as to what I do. Either way, you might be able to get some advice out of this and you can uh, set it the way you want to set it. What I'm going to do first is actually show you how to use it on its own, but then I'm going to show you how you can use it with effects pedals, which is another thing that I think is really cool about this. You can kind of use it as like a clean amp and then plug in effects and use those as like your distortions and things like that. So I'm going to show you both. But before we get started on that, I just wanted to mention that if you like these kind of videos and you find them useful, the best way to support what I do is by going to my record label, which is anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com. And you can now become a VIP member there and you can get all the releases. There's 67 back catalog releases plus everything new that I release in the future. And all of that is included in the VIP membership, which is only $40 a year, all included. So anyway, if you get a chance, please check that out. And now let's get on with the video. All right, so I'm all hooked up. I'm not running into that amp. Uh, don't pay attention to that. It's actually just going out from the Pock Rock straight into my audio interface like I showed you before. And I am using the cabinet uh, simulation is turned on. And first off, let me just show you some of my presets I have in here. So this is my clean tone. A little bit out of tune. Let's use the tuner. All right, so first off, let's show you some of my presets. Uh, basically, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. I just wanna show you uh, how I use this. Now I have a few different presets that I like to use. And then I also like to use the clean channel and then use my effects pedals uh, to process through the clean channel. Now, if you're using pedals with it, make sure you put the Pock Rock last as if it were an amplifier. Uh, just think about it the same way you would an amplifier. So. If it were an amplifier, you'd hook up all your pedals first and then plug into the Pock Rock. Okay, so let's hit patch. This is the fuzz tone I created for a song, but I really dig this tone. It's like really, really crazy sounding. That slow phase on there, I really dig that sound. It's so 70s sounding. Uh, okay, so that is one patch that I use a lot. And this is another one, this clean tone. Very nice sounding chorus on there. That's not mine. All right, so here's some of the uh, distorted tones. Okay, so you could get all the different varieties with this pedal, or not pedal, with the Pock Rock itself, but what's really cool, and what I like to do is once I have some tones there that I recorded, if I want to do a second guitar track and I want like total different sound, something that's completely different from the Pock Rock, I'll just use the clean channel here, and then I'll use one of my pedals here.
So anyway, I think you get the idea. Uh, just wanted to show you that you don't have to use the effects within the pop rock. You can use it kind of as like a direct box for guitar and then still use your pedals, uh, which I think is a really cool way to do it. And plus it gives you a lot of different tones and textures that you can play with. And you're still not disturbing your neighbors and you're getting all these cool different sounds to record with. Anyway, I thought that was cool and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Hopefully you liked it. Anyway, those are some of the ways that I use the Pock Rock. I think it's a really cool little device and totally worth $30. If you're looking for an easy, convenient way to record your guitar, this is really definitely something worth considering. I'm really into it. You know, I really like it and I use it all the time. And like I said before, if you want to check one out for yourself, there's a link down below. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, what do you think about the Pock Rock? Do you have one of these? Uh, what do you think about its quality? Do you use it to record or you just use it to play with headphones? Uh, which you can do as well, but I mainly like it for recording. So let me know what you do with this thing, and uh, I think they're pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you really soon.